Yeah, I, I, I can't explain why I get the feeling that I've missed a journal. It's probably because the people of Skyrim really do have a, rather a helpful habit of uh, indexing their journals. It's like, diary number one, diary number two. Although I have to say, if, if you have enough spare time that you have multiple journals, you, you probably should find a hobby or something. Journal, Discovering Runvold, Volume 1, by Morik Sidray. I have decided to document our expedition to find Runvold in my journals with hopes that should we fail it will bring illumination to those who follow us. I myself have stood on the shoulders of academic giants to get where we are today, spending endless hours in libraries and private collections. I am certain that there is some artifact of great power to be found in those ruins. One that the Vigilants could find useful in their mission, or that an owner of a museum would find useful in theirs. I do not mean to sound pompous. Uh, why not? It's, I, I, I think sometimes a little pomposity in, in an academic journal lends it a certain air, a certain gravitas. I do not mean to sound pompous, but I feel as if I am on the precipice of my destiny with this quest. Yeah, okay, maybe a little too pompous. I am certain we are digging in the right place. I can feel it in my bones, and I dream of finding Runwald at night. Even in my waking hours, I can almost hear a reassuring voice telling me we are going the right way. Yeah, this is a bad sign. The expedition has had a great deal of luck so far. After only a few weeks, the first tunnel broke through into a large shaft, leading downward towards where I suspect to find Runvold. With just a few bits of carpentry, we've established our first base camp within the mountains. If we continue to be this fortuitous, we shall reach our goal in record time. M. Sidray. You know what? I'm sort of hoping this man is alive so we could perhaps hire him? Sounds like he might be a bit of an asset to uh, to the Explorers Guild. Right, where was that? My god, it really is ridiculously dark. Um, oh, where was the other journal? It was here. Wow. Discovering Runvold, Volume 2, Morik Sidray. Our luck continues. Not only do we continue to tunnel into caves and shafts that speed our descent, but struck multiple veins of precious ore. Now that the excavation has proven to be a financial success, the Vigilants have sent more supplies, materials and workers to further the cause. I find myself unable to contain my glee at times and have become prone to cheerful outbursts in front of the men. One might find this very out of character for me, but the men seem to share my enthusiasm. Yeah, another bad sign. You know, I'm, I'm not saying people shouldn't share enthusiasm, but... Never before have I worked with a group so single-minded in their pursuit to have so many people working towards the same goal with little to no deviation from the task at hand is uncanny blessing. Stendar be praised. I have a feeling Stendar has little to do with it. With so much going well, I hesitate to document what seem like minor troubles in comparison. I must have something to do with the cramped spaces, but I found myself prone to aches in my head. While these hardly deter me from leadership role, I have found myself distracted at times. Have had many a conversation with the workers where I drift off, only to have them call me back to reality. Sometimes I lose small amounts of time and can't remember what I've done, and yet I'm still not getting the bloody message. I'm hoping this is nothing more than excitement of reaching our goal, but I will try to keep note as we dig deeper. Oh, this man's so very dead. Perhaps a half tankard of ale before sleep will help me with these headaches. M. Sidray. Yeah. There is something about archaeologists that, you know, for all their intelligence and learning, 
makes them monumentally stupid. At least in certain regards. Obviously, they did not read enough horror stories when they were at college. It... Okay, you know what? I am with you. Come a little closer and stay in this dark corner. I mean, I know it's nice to stay near a fire. Okay. But I want you too long. a little... Oh, you're staying in front of fire. Well, you know, I can't say I blame you. I see a red glow. Okay. Ah. Oh. So, is it... Oh, I was going to say, is it possible for me to get underneath and past? These... No, it is not. Okay. And there is a dogie. Most... Unfortunate. I... I'm assuming the doggie's going to be hostile. I, maybe I shouldn't assume that, actually. Maybe the dog's just friendly, sat there, looking at its master. And when its master keels over, you'll think, ooh, master has fallen asleep. That's nice. Master is tired. You know? Oh, look at this nice new man. I wonder if he'll play. Hi, are you? Are you friendly? You seem friendly. Hi. Hello. Who's a good doggy? Now I feel terrible, because I... Yeah, I killed the other one. Dear, oh dear. Okay. Wait. You didn't like the torch, you did... No, 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 no. Shh, shh. Why didn't you light the torch? Oh! Really, you didn't see me, even though I'm stood right in front of you. Right. Oh, it, it's very dark. But still! Oh, you're gonna just... Please don't make me kill you. Okay. And... Oh, should be looking for more journals. Okay, you know what? How long are you going to stay charmed for? You see, I would like charm him properly. You know, I want you to stay here. Okay, do not take too long. Yeah. If the doggy gets aggressive, Inigo has to kill him. Yeah, you know, you. Yep, okay, see, see, don't feel quite as bad about that. No, I don't. Um, right. And gl glowing red head. Yeah. All right. My God, even with night vision. I mean, it makes it a little easier to see. How are you seeing anything, hmm? Oh, I see traps. Right. And let's stick with what's working. Uh, which is that one? Is there anyone there? I don't believe so. Okay. Let's... Okay, I missed a massive gap. Are we finding any other journals? Yes. Suspected I might 
Right, what have we got here? Dancing fire, living... Mm, it's... Kind of scary how many books we've already got. Song of Pelennor. Oh, and we do need to find ruined books as well. And I'm going to try burned books. See if she accepts them. Right, here goes. Uh, wait a minute. Have I got night vision and a magic light? Oh, wow. So very dark. Discovering Runvold, Volume 3, by Morik Sidray. The damnable headaches. Minorn, be merciful, I just can't seem to shake them. The workers have started to report them as well, but while their focus on conversation and civility may wane because of it, they have not swayed from their task. If anything, they seem to have doubled their efforts. I myself cannot seem to focus on anything other than the dig. I sit here now studying some unearthly Nordic artifacts, yet I feel a nagging call to see how the dig is progressing. The other day, without thinking, I picked up a shovel and started digging myself. Fortunately, no one seemed to find this unusual, which is a blessing. I'd hate for the vigilance of Minorn to think that I'd lost my senses. As we dig, we uncover more Nordic ruins and architecture, but have yet to hit the main chamber. Every day I dream we'll finally reach Runvold, and I can't help but reflect on what this will mean to my reputation. My family will be so proud, especially my father, Minorn. He and mother have always been... That word Minorn keeps popping up a little randomly. Like, yeah... E well, here we go. I've always been interested in my studies, even if my sister Minorn was not. But I'm most excited to reveal my fighting findings to my colleagues, Minorn and Minorn, and perhaps my mentor, Minorn. Oh, won't they all be pleased? M. Sidre. I'm surprised he didn't sign it, Minorn. I will be here when you return. Yes. One trap there. I can't bypass these. Well, I can't disarm these traps. Unfortunately. Still looking for more journals. But I should not let my search for journals distract me from my search to not get horribly killed by a trap. Oh, it would have just shot you. Okay, brilliant. We've got a spare crow. Ah, well. At least now if we run across them, we won't get shot. Okay. Let's... It's safe to come forward now, Inigo. to do. Luckily, I don't think they can see that. Just gonna add a bit of a muffle to my step. Okay. And... He's walking back. Oh, God. Oh, he's on the far side. He's on the far side. Redhead, two redheads. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against redheads. You know, like normally. This is just, you know, the wrong sort, shall we say. 
stay in the shadows. Right, well. My god. So very dark. Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid, little doggy. I'm, mum. Um, not convinced I'm going to be able to allow you to live. Oh, no, no, don't stop, don't stop. Do not stop, do not stop, do not stop. You know you want to hammer whatever. Huh? I, I was caught, I was actually caught. I was actually caught. Okay. All right. Wow. It's been a while. Come this way. It has been a while. Wow, that was a bit. Come back safe. Well, I wouldn't say scary. Startling. I'm not really accustomed. Why isn't the dog? Yeah, attack him, attack him. Get him, yes. Get him. Oh. Oh well. Is someone there? <laughs> he really huh? did not sound like he cared. Oh well. Obviously not a dog person. You know what? I probably don't need any more amulets of Stendhal. I take them so I can. Who? They killed the dog. The dog was... Huh? Actually, you know... What a terrible... Hello? Who's is, there? is he enraged? It looks like he's enraged. Does it spread? You know what? Someone there? Someone there? This is working? Someone there? Oh! Volk! Oh! It's not... Maybe I... Maybe I don't want to kill him? Hey, don't do that. I do I do it was his diary I read. Could he be useful? You never know. And what, what... What were you... Activate torch sconce. No, thank you. Okay. Onwards. Obviously they're not... Totally shocked that they're fighting amongst themselves, but... Walking around this line. Is there a, was there a stairway going down here? Yes, there was. Oosh. Yeah. Please don't turn around. Resist. Was that a resist? Poison? Recipe? I do hope not. Or at least I do hope... Resist poisoning. I do hope you've not been... Actually... You know... Using it. Because that, that would have been unfortunate, wouldn't it? Alright. Uh... Hello. here. No passages down, just... Oh, God, I didn't check for traps. 
should definitely always check for traps. All right. So we have somebody called Volk down here. But no one else. Okay. But where is he? Okay. You know what? Your boots are a little loud. Didn't I get you some muffle boots? I'm pretty sure I got you muffle boots. Are you coming? I wanted you to wait right here. Okay, do not take too long. I mean, there's no panic at the moment. I just want to make sure you're close in case there is a panic. If you could stand still and not, you know, make a lot of noise, that would be very nice. Right, so that leads us down there. I think it's easier sometimes to find journals and the... Where? Okay. That was freaky. Bulk. Yes, I'm... A, I'm afraid I believe you're probably... That's it. That's it. Seem to enjoy that. Okay. Um. Maybe maybe my poisons are somewhat pleasant, if also somewhat deadly. I mean, it's possible, I suppose. I've not actually tried. Well, mm, actually, I have poisoned myself. That is true. I had to go through that painful experience and chug healing potions to become stronger. I've already got that. Yeah. I believe. Okay. You know what? We're not going through barrels. So, Volk has been taken care of. Ah, I see a door down here. The Book of Rest and Endings. Hmm. I believe I've got enough torches. <laughs> yes, that still tickles me just a little. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm absolutely certain I must have missed a... Uh, Oh my god, I mean look at look at look at this, it's just you know, I actually think the this is the right moment to think about. I think it gives slightly more light. I think it does. I think it gives slightly more light. We should probably test all these. Uh you know what? <sighs> the glowing bottom thing? Seems to actually work better. Isn't isn't that strange? It it It's got a little more distance. I say that, maybe if I Yeah, no that's that's really huh. How strange. A glowing bug on my bottom is the best form of light. Apparently I'm peckish. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check because I'm a tiny bit worried about missing another journal. Oh, well, of course it... it... <laughs> yes, okay. Never mind. We needed the exercise. Um, Discovering Runvol, Volume 4 by Morik Sidre. I have found my muse and her name is Minorn. Reading back over old journals, I realize she has called to me from deep inside Runvold. She is the voice I've been hearing, the one who has called me ever downwards into the mountain. The vigilants, the workers, they hear her too. What joy to learn that I am not alone in her love. Oh, Minorn, how 
Would we have ever found this place without you? As I write this, we are digging out the last bit of rock to get to you. Those without tools have started using their hands. I cannot write any more. I must get back to work. Grunwald awaits. M. Sidrek still signs it, though. Still manages to sign it. Okay. You know. Guess he's being consistent. Okay. So... Yeah, okay. We're uh, heading into the temple. Okay. Little creepy looking weird statue. No, not a statue. What is it you bossed? It's a head, right? It's not carved into the rock, it's actually a proper bust, I think. Just a very large one. With an animal skull in front of it. Journal, Scripture of Minorn. The Scripture of Minorn by Morik Sidre. Glory be to Minorn, glory be to the mistress of all. My life for you, O beautiful saviour, where once my feeble ramblings seemed so grand, I now realise they are but scratches on parchment, unworthy of you. Oh, that I could probably describe you. I would write a thousand testaments to you. Damn my tiny thoughts, if only I were wiser. Minorn asks that we bring more here for her, more to worship her and do her bidding. I have sent word to the Hall of Vigilance to come. A simple lie was told, for they would not understand, not until they saw her, O oh, glorious Minorn. But she is fearful. There are fools in this world that do not heed to her beautiful voice. The guard, Florentius, sent from the beacon, he still prays to Arche, an absentee god who pales in comparison to Minorn. I will pray to the goddess I can see. May he rot in his cage, O oh, sweet, sweet Minorn. That's good news. Apparently Florentius is immune to this. That's... Good. I think I'm hearing. I think. What the f? f off. Okay. Okay. Let's. Let's just, uh. Yeah, we still got some. Okay. Okay, so, come back here, come back here, come back here, stay here in the dark, here in the dark. Okay, do not take too long. Would you, could you, oh, multiple, now, that, yeah, I think it's time for a little invisibility. Taking them out when they're not looking at each other, and unfortunately, right. Okay. Huh? Wait, what? What? Who? Who? I knew I had something. Who? Who? What? Where? And 
when, who, what, where to what. That's what you want, huh? When it, it, are they, what, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're not attacking me. Who are they actually at? Are they attacking the guy I've come to save? Because I think he's in the cage. How? Or is it Inigo they've come to get? Who? Oh, he's that Inigo. They just teleport you out of this mess. Will do. Give me a second. Just gotta deal with these people in a particularly whoa. Ungracious, non finesse manner because you got spotted. How exactly did you get spotted, by the way? Why, why, why is. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Reminds me of my cousin's cat. Oh, okay, kill her. Excellent, well done, well done. Well, sort of well done. How did you get spotted up there? How did you get spotted up there? It was going so well. I was planning my move. I was going to wait till that one went over here, and I was going to put a poison in him, and then I was going to refresh my invisibility, and then go and take one of them out, or take the... Tell you what, let's focus. Ja um, Runvold key. Staff of Runvold. Creatures and people up to 23 won't fight for the... So it's just a staff of calming. Okay. Well then, what's it? Wait a minute. Is she just a? Is she just a mage that can charm people? I mean, I mean, I don't mean to say that in such a dismissive manner, because if I could do that, I'd be very, very happy. But really? <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll check that in a while. But is she just sort of somebody who's mastered the art of charm spells? Oh, maybe we shouldn't have killed her. Could have asked her to teach us. That would have been a very, very useful spell. Yes, it would. I thought it was going to be some sort of... All right, let's... Go and check the guy in the cage after I've briefly. No, don't push me off. Okay, are we missing anything? Is something going to go horribly wrong when we open this? I could have sworn. Oh, it's the torchlight. It's the it's the torchlight. Okay, I'll uh, tell you what. Let's go with uh, something a bit more. Bit better, isn't it? Yes. I knew it. I knew RK would save me. I asked for help, and he sent you. No. You are a very welcome addition to this dreary place, my friend. I owe both you and RK a great deal. Uh, I'm sure more I'll manage me. to repay him later. But you, what can I do to thank you? Yeah. Uh, you can meet me at Fort Dawnguard. I suppose I could. What, pray tell, is there? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Isran? Oh, nice gloves, by the way. Isran! Isran? My help? Yes, he needs your help. Is this some kind of a joke? Did RK put you up to this? Isran's done nothing but mock me. Does He's never given me the respect RK I deserve. often do this sort of thing? Just put people up to crack jokes on you, get you captured, send someone to save you, and then go, ha, ha, just kidding. Please, look, we need your help. Look, I've just got myself out of quite a mess here, in case you haven't noticed. And while I appreciate your help, uh, I... What's that? No, that's not what I... Yes, but... Okay. Are you sure? Really? Fine. Arke says it's a good idea for me to go. I don't agree. But he's not the sort of fellow you can just ignore. I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard then. Don't worry. RK will show me the way. Right. Okay then.
Yeah. You remember those days where nothing weird would happen at all? No, me neither. So I'm still not totally understanding what the hell went on here. They dug? And they dug and they dug because somebody was calling to them. And that person was Minorn. Okay, that's Morik. That's that's the main guy. This is the main guy. And he dug up her, but she looks very normal. Well, you know, normal for a dead person. And... Okay. Ah. Maybe we will get some answers... ...in here. That looks like a trappy thing. I want you to stay right there. Whistle if you need me, okay? I will. I will. I'm okay. We got a lever. We've got treasure. We got a bed. If I... Okay, there seems to be... A... Oh. Okay, this is one of those, um, you've, um, you've opened the door, you cannot close it. Whatever's in there is now free to get out, and you are free to steal it. Just... Depends on how you look at things, I suppose. The Ethereum Wars. Alchemy Lab. Is it worth... Okay. Is it, is it worth just a orcish... Do I have one? Do I have one? I do not know. Hmm. Is it sad that I'm really, really looking... For ruined books. No dragons down here, I hope. Or me too, for a start. It would make getting around very difficult. You know, can you imagine trying to squidge through one of these corridors? Excuse me, excuse me. Not gonna go well, is it? Um Yeah, I'm gonna gonna take a few um bobs. Just in case, you never know. We're heading Well down. You know. And when you're in a Nordic ruin burial site with all sorts of weird stuff going on, down is rarely a good direction. Well, could be good. S resist for, ooh, bit of extra sneak, maybe? I don't really feel um, I'm having a problem in the sneak department. Night Eye. I think the Night Eye is... Oh, regenerate, though. Regenerate health and magicka. And perhaps... No, you know what? That'll do. That'll do. I am with you. Okay. I'm just going to wait for the light to work to, to fade because we don't actually know what's there. And I did just take a, a sneak potion. Maybe I could sneak even with a glowing light right above my head. I wasn't actually serious. I'm just passing time until the thing goes away. Uh, which will be in precisely 21 seconds. Okay, we'll just... Let's nip down. Keep our ears open. Okay, just go out. Wow. 
Hmm. Am I going to be horribly disappointed and find out this is just a quick way out? This was her... No, it can't be an escape route. Otherwise, she wouldn't have summoned people here and had to be dug out. She would have just wandered outside. Or maybe not. Maybe she's just monumentally stupid. Or perhaps she just has a thing for dungeons. She just wants to stay in dungeons and be rescued. I mean, I suppose... I suppose that could be a th thing. Yeah? You like dungeons and hanging around them and having people come and dig you out? Is that a thing? Is that a fetish I have been unaware of up until now? Where is... Okay, we're near Torvald's... Okay. So... Do we head back in and see if we missed anything? Like, the thing that tells us what the hell was going on? Or do we just head down the road, find the bloody horses, and get on with our lives? Or, try not to get killed by random wildlife. It's a little later than I thought it was going to be. So we sort of have to make a decision. My original plan was to just ride down to Windhelm and then go on to uh, Raldbathar. But Riften's actually the closest by quite a large amount. And we could just take the carriage to, to Win Windhelm, which would be better. And also, we're going to have to spend the night somewhere, right? We are. And I'd rather spend the night in Riften than Windhelm. Even though we've got a nice new house now. I just... Uh, oh, where's the road? Where I keep going. I'd rather spend the night in Riften. We actually have a few jobs in Riften. We have more jobs in, in Windhelm. But we do have a few in Riften as well. I can't see the road. I say road path. This is... is that it? I feel like I'm going backwards. Nope. No, this is it. We found the, for want of a better word, path. Is that? Oh, God, that is. That's... Really? Okay, you know what? No more! I yield! I yield! Oh, I how loud! You know what? Mercy. <sighs> Useless. Let's just get in here and plant what we've got to plant and then worry about incompetent thieves and what looked like a vampire probably hunting for me. Right. That looks like a good place. Let's just check. Yeah, we're clear. There's very rarely anything of real interest or value in the places down here. So let's just plant the stolen item. What was it? Was it a stolen? It was. Right, and now all I need to do is change the numbers in... What the? I think you're bleeding! Oh, God! Obviously went to the bloody Mercer School of Thieving. Scream very loudly, make as much noise as humanly possible, and act like you're winning all the time. Oh, my God, what the hell it... I have a feeling the vampire got involved. You know what? I'm think... I'm wondering whether I should check here as well. You know what? I, I, I've got time. I've got. I do need some sleep before we move on. But let's just. Oh, I think it's been too. Yeah, I, I think I, uh, I, I, I swept this place somewhat uh, recently. It's odd. I feel like no one would care if I took that. 
Which is good, I suppose, but I can't help but feel a little robbed, like someone's taking all the fun out of this. Is this because I'm a Thane here now? Is it? I think that's what I'm looking for. Yes. You know what? I don't think I've ever been in here. No, I... Now that I think about it, I really... Wait. What the hell was that? Falmer Blood Elixir. The Lusty Argonian Maid, Volumes 1 and 2. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Is that seriously a honeypot? <laughs> wait. Lusty Argonian Maid, Shrine of Debella, Honeypot, and Leather Strips. Yeah, this is where the magic happens, apparently. Whoa.